You have reached your destination. Yep. In 2020, the world changed. COVID hit us, we all went home, and many people lost their jobs, their homes, their lives uprooted or changed forever. I was lucky. I continued to be employed. I didn't get sick until March of this year, and I beat COVID. Uh, um, and I didn't go stir crazy in a one-room New York style apartment. Because I counted myself as incredibly lucky, I wanted to give something back and try to do something to benefit an organization, the Make-A-Wish Foundation, that is dedicated entirely to helping ill children achieve a wish. And I was hoping to do it in a way that I would enjoy. Through MGEXP.com, the center of the universe for all things MG, I found some folks who were selling MGA body parts and fenders. I found people who donated parts, and I used things that were left over from a recent MGA restoration. <laughs> I'm almost done, I promise, and I'll put the last video up soon, I hope. <laughs> um, and I put it all together into the final product that you'll see here in a few minutes. For details, laughs, and to see the progress over the last seven months, you can watch the entire video series I've made on this project. I've got 44 other videos I think I've got, um, and, I'm, and I've not tried to hide anything. I've reached out for help and advice, I've accepted unasked for advice, and as of today, 7 August, I am finally done. I've documented everything online as well, and I'll leave a link in the description to where I have been tracking everything. So, do you want to see it? So what you're looking at is the full rear of an MGA welded to the vivisected front portion of another MGA. I think I took out two feet of front fenders and two feet from the hood. And the frame is made from two by two square tubing, which frankly was overkill. This thing is stout. It is a, it's not a beast, it's not heavy, but by God, it's strong. I know this because having been in and out of this thing countless times, and being a barrel-chested German, it never complained. It's a, it's, it's really well built, I think. The front tow bar extends all the way to the rear of the trailer and was both notched and welded, as were the front diagonal stabilizing pieces. Okay, so this means that that front tow bar goes all the way to the back and has load bearing on the entire length of this trailer. Again, it's stout. Um, everything was notched and welded, as were the front diagonal stabilizing pieces, as I mentioned. Uh, both the hood and the trunk panels fully open as you can see and have full water gunnels or troughs or gutters or whatever the term is so as not to let the water in and I've got uh, a sealant inside those things to prevent the water from coming in okay headlights and the headlight buckets are brand new I bought them off of eBay for my MGA Rasta mod but I went another route and put these away for a rainy day both headlights are fully functional uh, I had them wired to a fused on-off relay switch in the back such that the illumination may assist its being attached to a tow hitch in darker conditions. Uh, Lord Lucas would probably not, uh, not approve. The chrome light surrounds aren't new on the headlights, although as you can see they shined up pretty nicely. Uh, the front and rear indicators are fully functional and wired for an immediate quick connect disconnect to the receiving vehicle. Uh, it's currently wired for brakes and running lights in the rear and running lights and indicators in the front. Uh, the axle, a Drexel axle, which is new, and I want to stress the new, was specially ordered new and then welded into the frame in multiple contact points. The wheels and the tires are new as well, as you can see there. The floor is wood. It's stained and sealed to make it look nice with the underside and bolt holes being sealed with marine grade sealant. Everything's been tied down, as you can see, with washers and uh, and so forth. Um, months after I did this, after I sealed everything, I also painted the ground-facing portion flat black for added protection against rot. Uh, the grill, as you can see there, is new. Uh, it shined up beautifully, and behind it is just a flat black portion of, of more metal. So this thing, this entire trailer is waterproof, to include that front piece. I painted it black so it would uh, kind of... Uh, you know, go with it, I guess. <laughs> the frame has been coated with SummitRacing.com's chassis paint, which frankly is the, probably the best paint I've ever used. 
and prior to doing any body work I sprayed the unfinished product with multiple coats of epoxy primer. Over this I laid down fiberglass to fill the voids and imperfections and all this means that in the event that the paint gets nicked or suffers gravel hits the epoxy primer coat won't allow water or, or moisture to hit the bare metal. Um, the paint is Elkhart Blue. Uh, Mercedes has another name. Uh, older BMWs have the same stuff with a different name. And on top of that, I put three coats of clear coat. As you can see, it came out pretty brilliantly. Uh, it's not perfect. Um, body work isn't what I do for a living, but it presents really well. And I'll probably have to point out the imperfections if you come for an inspection prior to bidding. I, I always recommend that. Really, I built this thing to last, and I, 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 didn't, I didn't cut corners. I, when I screwed up, I redid something. When I screwed up something else, I redid that too. The interior of the trailer itself is, again, coated in that same epoxy, sorry, not epoxy, that same um, uh, chassis paint from Summit, so it's going to withstand the test of whatever you're going to put into this thing. Um, the trunk lid, as you probably saw, came to me with holes for luggage rack. I didn't plug these things, and instead, I painted some plastic plugs and stuck them on. I have a ton of spares of these things, and the buyer will get a handful of them, as well as just about an entire quart pint, a lot of uh, of, uh, of uh, touch-up paint. I I I overbought. <laughs> so the nose shown here in primer and just after I'd put it all together is actually fiberglass. Uh, very strong. I uh, overdid that as well. Um, it's integral to the uh, to the body of the trailer and will never come off and it being fiberglass and marine grade uh, also extremely stout. Okay so here's a uh, here's a close-up of the uh, of the push-button release mechanism for the uh, for the uh, the trunk. Uh, this is brand new. I've got uh, two sets of keys for this as you can see, the um, the ceiling gasket there is new. Um, you push the button, you pull up, the trunk is uh, is good to go. You drop it, it locks. It's just as simple as opening or closing a uh, something that has one of these things. Yep. You can also see that the MG <laughs> the MG octagon plus the M in the G <clears throat> plus the limited there at the bottom, all of that's brand new as well. Um, I would say it shined up nicely, but it dang well should because they're all brand new. And I wanted to point out that uh, what you're looking at there is a motorcycle 12 volt battery. Um, that runs purely and nothing else the internal lighting system. I gotta put a picture of that up. As well as the headlights. So the internal lighting mechanism will turn on when the rear trunk is, is opened. Not the front portion, just the rear. And again, for the headlights. So at some point in time, without uh, without being charged, that battery will uh, uh, will will run out. You'll need to charge it on your own. Okay. Um, <clears throat> I have not added the acid to this battery, so upon pickup, you'll get a brand new, uh, maybe a day before you tell me, uh, you'll get a brand new battery with acid in it and a full charge. All right, so the weight of the trailer is about a hundred pounds more than this. Um, this was the weight prior to the axle, the wheels, and the floorboards going in. Okay, uh, as stout as the uh, as the axle is, it doesn't weigh a whole heck of a lot. So the entire thing uh, weighs under 500 pounds. Tongue weight is 78 pounds. I had a picture of that. I'll. I can't darn well find it, but I can always make a new one. Um, that axle, by the way, is rated for 3,200 pounds, and each tire is weighted for is rated for 1,600 pounds apiece. So, again, you're getting a cute little tank. This thing is stout. So, for the sake of comparison, uh, this is the trailer next to my 2016 Z4. Uh, I'm five foot seven. And I can lay down in this trailer without bending my knees or scrunching or impacting my head or feet. I actually fell asleep in this thing once. Um, and note the label on the wheel here. I forgot to take the thing off when I received the pair. I'll, I'll do that here before I, uh, I release it. So I welcome questions. I'll try to answer as best I can. And of course with full open honesty. I've got nothing to hide. 
Uh, I'm, I'm proud of the work I've done on this. Uh, I am very confident in this thing's strength. Um, and I highly encourage a face-to-face -face inspection prior to you buying or bidding on this thing. I will try to support your schedule as best I can and I can kind of uh, rearrange my work schedule uh, to support uh, visits and, uh, and so forth. By all means, reach out. And the most important part, here's how a payment will work. If you are the winning bidder, your payment will go to the Make-A-Wish Foundation directly. I'm going to supply you a link and not to me. Okay, I'm not reimbursing myself for time or materials. I'm not taking a percentage of the final cut. I'm not benefiting monetarily whatsoever. Okay, again, I'm going to say this for the record. I'm not reimbursing myself for any time or materials. Okay, I've already made arrangements with the Make-A-Wish folks, so once your tax-deductible donation to them clears, you come by and take delivery of your trailer. You will also be given the aforementioned decent quantity of paint, plus spare seals, and a few other things that I bought to go with this thing that I just haven't listed. I will also provide a disc or a thumb drive of every polished video I made uh, while constructing this trailer. They're all on YouTube as well. Uh, as well as every raw and unprocessed video and picture, some of which didn't make their way into the YouTube series. Okay, You will also be given copies of every, and I stress every, receipt and the ledger showing the same. Again, I believe in open transparency and you'll see that I didn't spare any expense in making this a quality product. And you know, <laughs> when it finally goes, I'll probably have an emotional moment. I gotta pause. <laughs> okay, I'm better. Uh, I I have I have a little under 600 hours of my time in this project. Um, my triumphs, my head scratchers, my failures, my rework, a lot of rework. Um, and in every moment of it, I've had a lot of fun. Uh, um, you know, this was a very rewarding thing for me to do, not only because of how fun it was, but because I truly believe in doing things right and in doing things to help others who are much less fortunate than myself. Again, I want to stress, everything that you pay for this goes directly to the Make-A-Wish Foundation and not to me. You're benefiting kids who don't have it as good as you or I and and yourself. I'm, I'm not taking anything out of this except the rewarding fun and all the, all the fun that I had doing it. So good luck with bidding and I encourage questions and comments.